video, I will discuss about outstanding illustrators in children's literature. These illustrators are Ernest Shepherd, Sir John Tenniel, Beatrix Potter, Peggy Fortnum, Sir Quentin Blake, Moray Sendak. Ernest Shepherd. Shepherd was a punch illustrator and cartoonist before embarking in 1924 on the collaboration with A. A. Milne, on which his horse humor's reputation largely rests. His genius nature is clear to everyone who have seen photographs of unremarkable teddy bear on which Winnie the Pooh is partly based. His illustrations to Milne's text have come to evoke for several generations a sun-drenched vision of idyllic British childhood. The same quality characterizes his illustrations to Kenneth Graham's The Wind in the Willow undertaken in 1931. Sir John Tenniel. Tenniel was a punch illustrator who pounded Lewis Carroll's invitation to illustrate Alice's Adventures in Wonderland for three months before agreeing on 5th of April 1864 to a fee of £138 for 42 illustrations, which he produced over the course of the following year. Carroll highly valued his judgment and his work. Carol accepted Tenniel's obse objection to the quality of Clarendon Press's first printing of his novel, rejecting all 2,000 copies and switched to a new printer, Richard Clay. Clay achieved the necess necessary clarity of details in producing Tenniel's illustrations as woodblock engravings and posterity is the richer for the spell. After 150 years, his White Rabbit, Mad Hatter, and Red Queen remain instantly recognizable. His visions of Alice encapsulates mid-Victorian stereotypes of girlish prettiness, and Alice hairbands remain a feature of girls' hairdressing. Beatrix Potter Potter's characters such as Peter Rabbit and Mrs. Tiggy Winkle are as instantly recognisable by British readers as the Queen's head on a poor stage stamp or label of a mermaid shop. He is one of the many authors who decided to illustrate their own work. A complete integration of text and image can be heard in the tales of Mr. Jeremy Fisher. In some illustrated books for young children such as Judith Kerr's the Tiger Who Came to Tea, or the work of Emma Chichester Clark. The story and illustration are of equal impact and importance. These are the illustrations of Miss, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle and Peter Rabbit. Peggy Fortnum. Peggy Fortnum created first illustrations to Michael Bond's Paddington Bear Stories in 1958 and went on to illustrate three more of the author's story collection. Her deft line drawings suggest action and speed, in other words, a perfect illustration of the chaos that the well-meaning bear invariably leaves in his wake. Despite television and cinema incarnations, it is Fordnum's slightly tatty, harassed, and perpetually bemused traveller who remained the marmalade-loving bear from Peru for the most readers. Sir Quentin Blake, best known for his work illustrating Roald Dahl stories. Sir Quentin's work with its vigorous line and boldly handled colouring, thrillingly capture the ambivalence of Dahl's fiction with its dark humour and occasionally riotous abandon. Maurice Sendak 
He was an American illustrator and a children's book writer. He gained popularity with his famous book, Wild Things Are, that was published in 1963. This book influenced many children around the world, especially in USA. The book sold 20 million copies since its publication date and changed the whole perception of artwork for children's books. After his death in 2012, the New York Times actually put together all his lifetime achievements and deemed Simba as the most important children book artist of the 20th century. Thank you.